Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. Mods. Yep. I'm messing with mods now. What's this? Airship compressor. Pumps and pipes control the buoyant force. Blah blah blah. Yeah yeah. And we have these uh, airship envelopes that are pretty big. Whoa. That one's big. This one I probably can't even see it because it's so big. Yeah. I just... I. I have to trust I'm holding it. <clears throat> right. I'm, you know, I probably shouldn't waste my time looking through them right now when I'm supposed to do something, but, ooh, external cathane tank, I got some mech jeb shit, uh, okay, that's everything for that tab. I'm not going to go to another tab, because I need to show you this using the Ludo Blimp mod. I have this, uh, what do you call it, helium balloon or whatever, and then I got these two, uh, actually I think it's hydrogen, because these things explode very, very well, and then these are the helium tanks, or hydrogen tanks, I suppose. Alright, so as soon as it loads up, you see, uh, you see this, yep, pretty cool, eh? I'm gonna turn the throttle up to one-third, and I'm going to start filling the gas. And I'm just going to, you know what, I'm going to turn the throttle all the way up because it's funny. And, eh, screw waiting. We're launching now. What? Oh, yeah. Woohoo! So, yeah, because the thrust is beneath the center of weight, it's going to, you know, start rotating. Now, if I leave it alone long enough, I'm pretty sure this thing will flip itself over. Then again, it's got wings, whereas the last time I did this, it didn't have wings, so it may not. I don't know. We shall see. And it shall be funny. Yeah, so this is the blimp, and I'm going to fast forward time just a little bit and see what happens. Sorry about that sudden cut. I got interrupted and now I'm spinning. Okay, let's let's turn that down in case we die. I don't want to die. Dying dying isn't on my list today. Okay, so we're at the point where I think this thing stops being able to hold us up. But of course we got an engine beneath us, so we're gonna keep going up. So let's just ditch that. Woohoo! Yeah, oh, this thing's a little bit hard to control. Well, a little bit hard with the uh, slidey left to right. It's got a uh, small, as you can see, it's got just this tiny little winglet for a vertical stabilizer. So it's not very much vertically stabilized. Let's go down. <clears throat> Down's always a fun direction to go. Oh, we stalled it just now. Lovely. Hold on. Eh. Nope, not quiet. Okay, back in control. Mostly. Never mind. Nope, nope, we're not. Ah, shit. Okay, go that way. Why are you spinning like this? Right. Hmm. This is a very bad design, obviously. I mean, if we're going like this. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, just there. Okay, well, no, no, no. We don't quite got it. Oh, yeah, we're gonna crash. There's no way we're not gonna crash. It was nice knowing you guys. <laughs> well, I thought that plane could fly well, but. I was very, very wrong. What's this? Remote tech dipole antenna. Yep, I got antennas and a remote c <clears throat> a remote command. Oh yeah, a remote command module. So yeah, and then there's the regular remote control module. And there's some mech jeb crap. What is? Oh, it's like a really tiny one. Interesting. How many kinds of mech jeb are there? Whoa, what are all these pods? Okay, we have a remote tech remote pod. Remote tech RC antenna.
Oh, what's this? Remote SAS. Both an SAS and a SAS. And provides the control for, <laughs> and only occasionally sends a, cert a vessel to its doom. Why are these crewless command pods in here as well? Actually, yeah, I suppose that could make sense if I'm launching them from the ship that I'd go up in. Yeah, yeah, okay. <clears throat> and then we got some payload fairing equipment. This one I think I want to get rid of because that's the same as a uh, Rocco, Rocco Max adapter, I'm pretty sure. I'll have to look. You know what, we should go to the VAB for this. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Let's see. Ooh. HL airships. Let me see. Kerbal X. Orbiter 1A. What's Orbiter 1A? Is that the regular? Yeah, that's the original stock stuff. HL airship orbiter. So what, do we just let this thing float up? And then we launch from up there. What? This could be turned into an awesome space station, couldn't it? And then here's a small one. This is just a... <laughs> wow, there's so many tanks on here. Are these tanks, like, extremely inefficient or something? Anyhow, going back to the payload fairings. Oh, yes, there's three different types of tops for the payload fairing. I'm probably going to get rid of this one because I'll never use it and it's just cluttering my area. I'll probably get rid of some other ones too. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. PLF explosive bolt. What? What? Okay, that's kind of scary. Let's see what else we got. S uh, stock parts, basically. Oh yes, uh, headlamps, or whatever, not headlamps, just, you know, landing lights or whatever. And we got the cart plug-in, so we got some carts, we got a regular cart, we got a moon rover, we got a warp clamp, ooh, Urkel, one of those warp clamps. And there's a warp clamp that looks like a thingy, the, the decoupler, Pro propane RCS fuel tanks. Oh. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. And we got a truck and a propane pro blah 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 blah. RCS thruster. We got a UAZ 469. We got an ISA GPS. What? Oh, it won't collect new data, but it's uh, allows you to see stuff. And then there's the actual satellite. Then we have a cathane controller, a cathane miner, cathane medium converter. Medium converter. So what, there's a small converter, a pump, a cathane sensor, large parachute. Protractors are very useful. Let's see, apparently one of these is the taped on design and one of them isn't. Oop, uh, I zoomed in just a little too far. There's the taped on one. Yep. And no decals and crew, as per usual. Alright, I'm gonna try to design something.